on my left, uh, Abel Sanchez. On my right, Tom Leffler. I shouldn't introduce, but I'm always doing that. Starting with, starting with uh, Abel and uh, Serhi Bohatsuk. He's going to be in the ring again to knock out people again. Uh, you know, we're in the ring to hopefully be successful, but uh, we're not looking for a knockout. For Sergey, it's, uh, it's a methodical kind of beating that he puts on people. And if it's another knockout, good for him. But if it's not, an automatic decision because it's going to give us the kind of uh, rounds and the kind of learning that we need for the future. Like last time when we spoke, his previous fight uh, during the Tom's Leffer 360 event, you said there is still, ceiling is still very high for him. Do you see the development you expected from, from Serhi? I think the last three or four fights, uh, he's come to realize that it's, um, there's a lot more to learn, there's a lot more to do, there's a lot more um, effort that has to be put in, and it's not necessarily run harder or train harder or anything like that. It's a lot of the mental part of it that has to start to go into it, because it's not just about throwing punches, it's about uh, learning your opponent, reading your opponent, uh, and the kind of guys that we have in the gym, Michelle Soro, uh, Angulo, Garcia, uh, Angulo Marion, they, they are very helpful in the teaching part of it. Gassiev, I know he landed in, in California a couple of days ago. A friend of mine told me they met on the airport straight from L.A. to uh, Big Bear. Is he healthy? The number one question. He is healthy. Uh, hopefully he'll fight in December. Uh, I saw him on, uh, on my cameras uh, getting to Big Bear and I welcomed him home and he said he's very, very, his quote back to me was he's very, very, very happy to be home. Uh, I'm sure after spending, spending so much time. Tom, um, a lot of things going on. Uh, Cecilia Breakhouse, you, um, you event number 10? It's number nine. Number nine. Uh, I am already thinking about number ten. We're, we're live here in Cancun from the 57th WBC convention. You see all the belts here. Yes, there is. In the background, we've worked with uh, WBC female. Both Abel and myself have worked with many WBC champions, but uh, Bowichuk now is fighting for the WBC Continental Americas title for a super middleweight, super welterweight, sorry, super welterweight. Uh, it's a great fight with Tyrone Brunson. Uh, that's why WBC sanctioned it for one of their, uh, one of their titles. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, Cecilia Brick, was, uh, she's an undisputed champion. She holds the Guinness Book of World Records. Most uh, title defenses, most undisputed title defenses, longest reigning uh, world champion and uh, undisputed champion. So she'll be fighting November 30th. Monaco. In Monaco uh, against Bustos. Uh, that'll be on uh, the zone, that'll be on Sky Sports. Uh, Cecilia in uh, Monaco, I think, will fit perfectly. That'll be on a matchroom show. We just signed a multi fight deal with uh, Matchroom. Abel has some experience in Monaco. We had a triple G fight there three times, four times, four, and it's a uh, it's a tremendous atmosphere. Uh, great reception, very uh, strong support for international sporting events there. So we look forward to uh, to uh, Cecilia fighting number thirty. You heard what what Abel said about about Serhi and his development. Nine, what's your promotional plans for him? I know you're going to say. I'm going to wait for Saturday, um, Saturday, excuse me, it's a Sunday show, I'm going to wait for Sunday, but there must be some phone calls, like maybe we can put him here or there, if you can, you know, tell us That's something. Always, I mean, just like with Triple G, we always had a strategy, uh, you know, one, two, three fights down the road, and that's what we're developing now with uh, Bochuk. Bochuk does have a 15-0 record with 15 knockouts, uh, Tyrone Brunson definitely is uh, going to be a, a stiff, <laughs> stiff test for him. Brunson holds the record for the most first round knockouts in the world, 19 knockouts, 19 first round knockouts uh, at the beginning of his career. So it's going to be two big punches. The fans are going to get a great, great action. It's at the Avalon Hollywood, part of the Hollywood Fight Night series. It'll be also on the 360 Promotions Facebook page. It'll be streamed uh, internationally. And, uh, we have uh, high expectations for uh, Bolichuk. He trains really hard. It's not easy uh, training in Big Bear. All the sacrifices that you go through. Uh, Triple G was very successful uh, with that training at environment. Big Bear is not for everyone. It's Abel not, told us. Definitely yeah. not for everyone. And Bolichuk learned a lot naturally from Abel, but also with uh, Triple G. Uh, work ethic, so he's learned a lot and also has trained side by side with uh, 
Gassiev, as you mentioned, so he's had a lot of world class fighters who are more advanced in their careers and, and as role models for what uh, what he needs to do. Uh, and with Abel's guidance, we expect a, a lot more knockouts, a lot more success, and uh, Bo Chuck becoming a, a world champion. Abel never likes to rush anything, but I really look at him as a, as a, as a future world champion here, not, in, not too far out in the future. Abel Sanchez, Tom Leffer, thank you very much, gentlemen. All the best. Thank you. Thanks, Barry.